peace process is taking place between the Taliban and Afghan government. But it is unclear if and when it might result in a resolution. The dialogue has come against the backdrop of a significant surge in violence. Continuous attacks have raised the concerns regarding the vulnerable situation of Afghanistan amidst the revival of predatory groups on its soil. This week, four people were killed and nine others wounded when a roadside bomb hit a bus carrying Afghan government employees in Kabul. The bus was rented by the Afghan Ministry of Information and Technology to transport employees. In a separate incident, a helicopter crash overnight took the lives of at least nine people, including a pilot and five security force members. Sources said the helicopter was hit by a rocket during takeoff in central Maidan, Wardak province. It was not clear who fired the rocket, and there have been no claims of responsibility for the crash as well as for the attack on government bus. But the Afghan government has blamed Taliban insurgents for recent attacks targeting government employees, civil society figures, and journalists. However, the Taliban has denied any involvement in the campaign. The bombing comes on the day the Afghan government, Taliban, and key countries, including the United States and Russia, gathered in Moscow to push for a reduction in violence to propel the Afghan peace process forward. In a According to a report released by the UN Assistance Mission in Afghanistan and the UN Human Rights Office in February, there has been a significant rise in civilians killed and injured in Afghanistan following the start of peace negotiations in September. The report says that the overall number of civilian casualties in 2020 is 8,820. The report detailed the impact on Afghan women and children. They make up 43% of all casualties, 30% were children and 13% women. The anti-government elements in 2020 caused the majority of civilian casualties, which is 62%, totaling 5,459 casualties. 1,885 killed and 3,574 injured, with the Taliban responsible for most of these casualties, which is 45% of the total, and Daesh responsible for 8%. They have been killing civilians and government personnel alike. People narrating horrific tales have become an everyday incident. <laughs> The Afghan government and Taliban militants with the U.S. support have been carrying out talks in the hope of reaching a peace deal after decades of violent conflict. In line with the preliminary deal agreed by the U.S. before talks between the Afghan government and Taliban began in Doha, the U.S. will withdraw its troops from the country by May 1. However, the U.S. President Joe Biden cast doubt on this as a possibility, saying that the removal of the remaining 2,500 U.S. troops would be tough. The Taliban has warned that the world will face a dangerous war, a war that never happened in the past 20 years if the U.S. failed to uphold its end of the agreement.